Hello, it's Keith for KMH Corner. Oh, I'm in a little hole. I am back. Thank you for returning. And the first thing I must say is those phone calls, don't worry. Those phone calls that interrupted my last recording session, nothing bad happened. Um... It was somebody's sister trying to get some information and was kind of being a pain in the butt because they knew we were home, but we were not answering the phone. Yes. So everything is okay. Nothing to worry about here. And I am sorry for those multiple phone calls. Um, somebody's going through a hard time in their life. And they needed to talk to somebody. And they needed to talk to somebody right now. So that's basically what was going on. So. How much andersite? I really only have that much andersite for real. Okay. Um, I was going to... Uh, start the thing by building my entrance that will still be a goal but I need andersite to do it and it looks like I I checked it over at the other side and I only have that much andersite and I need like this much andersite. Uh, and I'm just going to be building some of these because I need um, bricks. Bricks of stone to go along with the andersite. So what I'm going to do is collect some more andersite. Check out my workers pick. I got my silky there. And... Um, uh, let me make some torches and we can get going with that and hopefully after I do a tunnel or two what am I doing let's just do that many um I will have enough andersite to build my entrance and show you what type of things I have in mind for my mine that is called suicidal pits so we're not allowed to die this episode not allowed at all so let's get going i got my 50 torches and we're gonna go this way now and look at that diamonds right off the bat oh and the torch destroyer too one two three four five We'll just leave you there for now. Um, we're, we'll, we'll explore the caves as we go also. Can I turn up the volume here? What do I want to do? Uh, no, not video settings, dummy. Oh, yes. We have it very loud for some reason. One, two... Three, four, five. So it doesn't look like I'm collecting andesites. <laughs> I like work worker picks. They work so much better. Uh, I am gonna put silky down there so I can get this. Just because I'm supposed to be putting a torch on him. The only problem with using the silk touch that I see, uh, I need a second thing of torches too. Uh, you don't get the experience. You will when you eventually break up the silk touch, but right now you won't be getting any experience. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm trying to die again. 
one, two, three. Um, I'm not used to having a good pick in this series, and I haven't really been playing much Minecraft on the side, um, except for designing some things. And that design um, is designed basically to the fullest extent. I just need the correct blocks to do it. And here is some of it, andesite. Um, I need tons of andesite. Not as much andesite as I do cobble or stone brick, but enough andesite to build a small castle with. Which is going to be a pain in the butts. But I'll, clean, I'll collect it as I go along. Um, instead of getting a whole bunch than doing it. I plan on getting enough to do the entrance so I can get the entrance created today. Let me just check something real quick. I'm always afraid when I first record whether or not I'm actually recording. Especially with an uncut thing. Um, so that's our goals. We are gonna start doing something amazing this episode this whole series all I have been doing is survival type techniques which is fine and all good and plenty but ultimately we are crossing the phase from survival to the building phase of the series which is seri where series should usually begin <laughs> like if I were to be doing <clears throat> a real edited out series um, I might have had one or two episodes up to this point because even though this is week seven I've only played the game for 14 hours this particular world for 14 hours and you've seen all of it other than a couple of really negative parts like horse killing and deeds like that that shall go unnamed aha uh -huh. look at all that and oh that might be just plain old dirt let's go clean this out what's in here do I see oh I uh, hear some mobs but nothing major it's not like I'm playing Pantheon I've been watching that from Zisto lately he is one amazing player of the crack of mind type okay that ended good I'm hoping this pick will last and I don't have to repair it because I don't have the levels to repair it and it's not like my dinky zombie farm is gonna help me out with that Look at all this non XP I'm getting. But I do enjoy the silk touch. I really do. I do have, uh, yeah, I got unbreaking on both of them. Yeah. The good unbreaking. If it's not unbreaking three, you don't even, shouldn't even mention that you have unbreaking on your thing. Unbreaking three is the only. Ooh, a double kill. Hi, buddy. What are you doing over there? Hi. Are you being a good boy? Butters. Sorry, Butters. There's lots of coal down here. 
Lots of iron down here. Lots of emeralds down here. Lots of nothing down here. So I'm excited. I actually have been like really looking forward to getting back on here and uh, recording this so I can show you the design. But unfortunately, andesite is probably my least plentiful block when it comes to stone based blocks and I need tons of it. But I'm still not going to go and just purposely go into a cave and mine it. I kind of hope I'm going to run into enough of it doing this this branch of strip mining. And what else do I need? I need lots of stone brick, stone slabs. So it's like basically andesite's the only thing I'm really missing from <clears throat> what I want to create this build. Which I just tweeted a few days ago an image of the creative build or at least not even the more difficult amazing part of it but um, the, what the hallways and stairways are gonna look like when it's done and I got a really good response with that and I'm really happy to see that um, I'm just afraid that at some point um, my more main source of light is going to be the half slab. Ooh, I thought it was going to fall down to my death. Um, hold on. What's down there? Some lava, I guess I go. You know, the, um, that weird... What do you call it? You know, when you have hash labs and light just kind of travels through it, it's not supposed to, but it does. Um, the whole lighting system of this, it's all going to be dark, which may not transfer well for YouTube, but what are you going to do? Um, But the whole thing will be dark, half slabs, so nothing can be spawned anywhere, which will make it safe down there. And when I was making the prototype for it, um, I had tons of bats <laughs> spawning. So I'm going to make sure I get the half slabs down on the floor as fast as possible so um, I don't have to deal with all the mobs trying to make my day difficult. Um, Oops. So it will be bright enough to kind of see where you are, but at the same time, I think um, it might be a little tough to see on YouTube. But we will see. I may include a world download at some point when I have something I'm actually proud of excuse me on here because anybody can make farms and so so forth and oh hey overkill did I really just get overkill by not even killing the guy it did give me overkill and I didn't even kill him Hey, I'm over here. Come on. Tell me. I thought they made you smarter. So yeah, that was kind of the one of the weirder overkills I've ever seen in my life. You're supposed to kill the person to get the overkill achievement. But another achievement got. So this is where I came out? This is. So let's clean this area. Clean it from all its blocks. 
thankfully it wasn't a sprawling cave that was going to take three hours to clean out. Oh, my left stuff up here. Let's get it. So another thing I need to do is um, that whole farming area where I have my farms, my pigs, my sheep, or I don't even have pigs, do I? I should get a thing of pigs now too because now I have carrots. I didn't really think about that. Um, that will be, <laughs> as somebody mentioned me to me earlier, pretty fied because it's not pretty now. Okay, I cleaned all of this out. I did hear a skeleton. Shh. It's like tennis. Where did that skeleton come from? It's not like he's really going to hurt me anyway, so. Come at me, bro. Stop hiding. Just come at me. I know your intelligence makes it a little hard for you to do that. But try it. Whoops. Hey. Trying to get up there. I left nothing back here. Whoops. Look at this. Never take straight above you because you may suffocate in some blocks. Or even worse, drop some lava on your head. I really would like to get a Fortune 3. I do have a Fortune 2 now. But I am just keeping it so maybe I can get a second Fortune 2. Or just a straight out fortune three so I or you know so I can combine the fortune twos to get the fortune three because uh, I don't like going through life without the four Ooh, look at that I can go up too let's do that all right got to clean making sure it's safe bros more stuff lit up the better oops Let's just get across here. Oh, okay, again. Let's put a torch down so people of the YouTube world can see. Arr. I hear somebody walking towards me. I bet she has got bad breath. Get across here. Almost there. Hi, buddy. Uh, Hi, buddy. It sounded like he was like standing on top of me, but it doesn't look like there's. Oh, there's lava right there. Let's see. Oh no, maybe not. I hear the lava. That was kind of a waste of my time to come up here. But at least more caves are lit up. Boy, do we like our coal. And iron. We can always use lots of iron. So this whole area that I'm digging out is probably going to be part of my main cab chamber. In the suicidal pit. That's going to be the name of the mine. <laughs> okay, so make sure I don't throw away any of that. Oh. We can go like this. I can't believe I'm already having spatial issues with my inventory. I want to eat up the mutton first. Oh, look at that. Some more caves on the other side. So let's go clean that out. Make sure nothing valuable is over there. Uh, are we going to do that? Let's just go up here. Put some uh This. On my bar. And just. Fill it across. So in the. Um, center of the main hall. Which is going to be about 30. Something blocks high. Um. I'm going to have the Etho-style zombie 
not zombie, uh, mob spawner, which is basically the spawning pads with the water underneath. So um, they, I was going to say, just kind of like what he has at the pyramid, but I'm not adding the water supplies at his pyramid. I'm not doing the water supply thing that he did. I'm just going to um, make the spawning platforms like he did a long time ago and have the water push it to the center and he fall and they fall through um, to their death on top of a hopper which is going to be in the center of the hall everything up is here is done and um, while I build this huge hall that will be happening the whole time because I should be within a certain amount of space of these spawning platforms. Okay, uh, what do we want to get? Let's get rid of that.